Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Thanks for joining us again. And uh, thank you uh, to those of you who have been supportive by emails, by prayers, by however means. Uh, we appreciate your support. I just wanted to make this video to encourage people and say that uh, your prayers have been successful and they have been heard and God is hearing your prayers and he is showing you the results and, I, and in this video I'm going to show you uh, more just to say that our prayers are working and bringing down the walls of Jericho so you have to keep pushing in the spiritual realm push back fight back against the evil our enemy is uh, not flesh and blood as I've said many many times and stressed on that although in uh, one particular video which I made in the cemetery on purpose uh, I mentioned some names and I called them to repentance and I knew at the time that my video uh, wouldn't go that far to get to the gods uh, but I did my role as a Jonah of today and I expected that the Lord of hosts would put that in their hearts to repent uh, by their dreams visions whatever means possible uh, even if it meant that they would watch my video however I know their slaves and their servants have watched my video because they have restricted my video uh, and videos in fact and that was uh, one of the main ones that was restricted it didn't go that far and you can see the numbers of the viewers and, and, and I, I, I'm not getting into the details of that uh, in this video I'm not going to stretch this video too far but just want to focus on encouraging you that your prayers our prayers are working so keep praying and whatever else God lays on your heart do that and I, I know we're all human and we get to the point we get discouraged and things don't pan out or don't work the way we expected them to work so we get discouraged and uh, we, we just kind of um, pull back or um, cease praying and that is exactly what the devil wants and that is not from God that is from Satan Satan wants you to stop praying so keep pushing at that moment that is the time that you have to push back that is the time you actually have to go full force and put your foot down and break down all the barriers all the spiritual barriers all the spiritual forces bring them down bring bring down the walls of Jericho with your prayers this is a spiritual battle don't forget that I've said this many times just wanted to in this video show you the results uh, that has been happening since uh, I did that prayer and I'm not suggesting that this is only my prayer lots of people are praying in um, line with the spirit and cooperatively and collectively basically we are achieving God's purpose on earth now we are mouthpieces of God we are God's vessels on earth we are the stars we are the salt of the earth we have to do our part how many times I've said this and uh, don't quit see the results are right in front of us push back and see that the evil is being ex exposed in most of my recent videos where I've prayed I did pray against the spiritual forces in act and against evil rulers and that they would be exposing each other because that's that's the only way they can crumble down and that's the only way we can fight back to bring down um, the, the evil forces because we can't um, 
it, it, we are not politicians. Well, I am not. I don't know exactly what's going on in each country in the world. I'm not a political analyzer. I'm not a journalist. I'm not any of that. All I am is God's vessel and I know what God is telling me. And you can see that in my pre previous uh, videos. I'm not bluffing. I'm not just making up things. I'm not into conspiracy theories, although lots of them actually kind of fall in line, if you like, uh, with what I receive from the Lord and what I know. Uh, it's not because I am following any group or organizations or, you know, corporations or anything. Uh, I, I am just me. And in fact, I don't like even in churches uh, where uh, the leaders of the church, all they talk about is the news. You know, you, you are enslaved, you are being trapped by the news, by the media. You have to be the source of the news. You have to be the source of the news. And that news is the good news. And that news is the gospel. Okay, that is old. Mm, that is never old. That is never old. But we have the actual news of the day. You can receive that from the Lord. You don't need a prophet. You don't need me. You don't need anybody. The Bible teaches us that we don't need anybody to teach us apart from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will teach us all these things. I, I, I'm not here to just read the news and analyze them and give you them. I'm just here to encourage you and say that you can receive your own news from the Lord. And He will give you that. Not only for today, but also for tomorrow. You'll have tomorrow's news today. Seek the kingdom of God and all these things shall be given unto you. Now, let's cut straight to the point and go to some of my videos that uh, I had published recently. All right, I've got a few uh, windows open here I'm just gonna go through them quickly uh, those of you who have been following our videos this is the video I uh, published on uh, 18th of January and uh, if we watch just a few seconds of that and listen to what I say uh, right here Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor you're going there with all your riches left behind you'll go in the ground you won't take anything with you after specifically and directly mentioning her name I mentioned a few other names and warned them of the coming judgment of God which is upon them and after that, I asked them to repent before it's too late. I'm calling upon you as Jonah of today. This is the voice of Jonah from England to you. This is what I can do. I can't get to you because you are playing gods. I can't talk to you directly. If I could, I would have told you directly. But this is what I can do. And I don't know how far this goes. It might never go anywhere near you. But I do my part. Repent. Do something amazing before it's too late. Your death, the judgment of God is upon you. The judgment of God is drawing near on you and all yours so do something amazing before it's too late while you're still on this earth and not 
in the ground. Repent. Leave a good name for yourself in the history. In the history of mankind. Turn around for good. Turn around and work and minister to the Lord instead of working for your own pocket, for your own gain, for your own masters. Work for the Lord, for your heavenly creator. All right, uh, we don't want to go through the whole video, but they were very iconic words that I used here. Uh, I don't <laughs> normally use those kind of words, uh, especially when I name names. And, uh, this was very specific and uh, it wasn't a generic uh, call for people to repent and uh, it, it wasn't general it was very specific and, and specifically I started with that certain name now uh, while before that on 24th of December in fact a day just after my birthday and the day before Christmas I made this video titled um, powerful prophetic word urgent word to all believers act now and about 13 minutes uh, into the video these are the words I said in my prayer bring down the strongholds of Satan in Jesus name I commission angels to bring down demons who are in charge of the uh, control and powers of this country financial establishments industries work environments societies bring down all the evil that are in power and in position that are controlling their societies in Jesus name O Lord and rise up to the high places to the power positions your people godly people to turn around and bring justice in Jesus name then I went on praying and a few seconds into that I said these words expose them O Lord expose their, all their evil plans expose all their evil plans and let them be known to all people, even to those who are on the borderline, who are still believing and trusting the system. Let them be known even to them. So I was praying for the exposure of the evil and uh, called certain people that uh, and warned them that their death is drawing near, particularly one particular person and asked that person to uh, repent while they're still alive and uh, the, this is just one of many uh, videos that I did ask for exposure of the evil uh, you can find them in our channel all the other videos uh, this one uh, was published on 5th of January for example and that was titled uh, prophetic word 2022 watch out as they have been working on this don't be deceived uh, by TPTB and again at around minute 13 or 14 of the video this is what I said uh, they're trying hard they haven't been very successful our prayers have been more successful than all their tricks and you'll see the results of our prayers in the coming months and weeks big people in the leaderships of the countries around the world some of them will be taken down some of them will just step down some of them will die or will be killed I don't know but they will be taken away from the scene and these things are happening and they will probably tell you 
is you know when they are going you see or they're out of the picture they'll tell you they are self-isolating or they've got COVID and this and that but it's nothing to do with COVID. Now I'm just going to close these videos I've shown you now if you haven't seen them if you have seen them you know about them and you have been um, given the heads up beforehand now we, I'm not as I said I'm not a political analyst I'm not here to analyze the news for you I'm not here to um, tell you what's what and what's happening I'm here to tell you that your prayers our prayers are working now again I'm not suggesting that I have done this uh, it's a corporate prayer it's the prayer of the righteous that availeth much and um, we just opened the season for people to open their eyes and pray the right prayer that's what we've done now if you've been at least looking at the highlights of the news recently uh, it's dominated uh, gradually first of all they phased out the uh, uh, V uh, so it's not much dominant news uh, on any of the mainstream media so they're not talking about the um, the, the, the virus or uh, the other one in the needle uh, but uh, something else is dominating gradually creeping in some a few things actually uh, one of them is ufos which are again warned you about them and uh, just showed you a piece of it and uh, a major thing that has been dominating the news is the royal family now uh, this is happening it's all over the news uh, they're saying that uh, I don't believe I don't believe now like I said I'm not part of any conspiracy theories or anything I don't I'm not saying anything against them and I'm not saying anything for them uh, what I know is only from the Lord I get my news from the Lord uh, I with the Spirit of the Lord I know what is right if I hear something or read something I know what is right what is not right and I believe every Christian should pray for wisdom, the spirit of discernment, to know um, the truth. So now they're saying, I don't believe that they would be talking in these kind of lines if this person was still even alive. They wouldn't even dare. So I don't think uh, she's even there and they want to they wanted to keep her on the scene to say that she is there because of a few things and, and they will probably keep her for a bit i don't know how long they want to keep that going uh, like i said i'm not a political analyst uh, i just tell you what i hear from the lord and i have told you before all these things came on the on any any news at all and i gave you the dates where i when I uh, publish those view videos so you can go and reference them and, and, and see when I've said what I've said yeah. and again as I said in the last piece of video I showed you they might be telling you that this is the cause um, but uh, I don't believe that either yeah. so uh, just be watchful and be encouraged that your prayers are working I'm not uh, suggesting that I'm happy about this but I am saying that our uh, prayers are working um, I prophesied about this I didn't know that um, from any any news channel it wasn't even on any it wasn't seen these kind of news wasn't seen on any media and uh, like I said I'm not following any kind of you know groups or corporations or their, their beliefs or theories or any of that i don't believe i don't i don't follow any of those things 
uh, I just have my own source, which is the ultimate source, God. Uh, whatever I need to know, I will get to know. And uh, if I don't need it, then I won't know. And these are the things that are relevant to this country. And I tell you, um, similar things are happening around the world. I'm not sitting here to analyze each country, but you can see that in your own country. You can uh, put those things down there on the comments and say what's happening in your country. Uh, so you can see, if you just see the highlights of the news, it's all about the royal, even, even down to the uh, to her dog now. Uh, you know, she's naming her new addition uh, almost after her own name, and then the titles they put there is all uh, clickbait, so people click on them because the mainstream media are really desperate for viewers and mainly BBC and all their affiliates which was also part of the prophecy I made in one of my videos and I, and I made a petition for people to boycott them uh, which I believe uh, although it hasn't reached many people but I believe it's reached the right people that uh, video actually went well for a bit and then after a certain point it went into a um, screeching halt it just stopped and uh, it didn't go anywhere else because uh, they restricted it and I don't care about those things because I do my part and I believe the right people as low the number of the viewers of my videos may be but I believe the, the people who have viewed them they're the right people that God wants them to view and it will be shared amongst those people that they need to uh, see those or hear those words and I'm sure on top of all that uh, the slaves of the powers that be must have watched them because otherwise they wouldn't have been restricted yes there are robots there and they filter things but in the end it's a human that decides what to do with that uh, channel or that video uh, i'm not going to go into the analytics of each video to show you how many subscribers we've lost and how many of my live channels have been restricted uh, limited uh, but this is not what we're not doing that for that kind of purpose we're doing this to raise awareness we're doing this to encourage the body of Christ to pray we're we're doing this to reach the unreached to call uh, people to repentance in high places the places of power uh, we call uh, for anyone that haven't made a change of heart to repent uh, we are doing these things to encourage the body of Christ and to warn them of all the evil tricks and evil things that are happening and are going to happen so they are aware whatever god lays on my heart i will do and i will say so you see as we prayed and prophesied the exposure is happening in high places for instance in this case uh, you can see uh, what the exposure is doing to them and it's not because you know they're mad at each other or you know they they are doing this i'm not going to read the titles I, I want you to read at least the titles here and see what's what and decide for yourself read between the lines and use your common sense sense these are big things happening this is not just a little you know revelation here and there this is only in this country and this country is a big player in the world's affairs and I bet you wherever you are in the world similar things are happening people are stepping down people are resigning people are being taken down as I said in that piece of video I showed you uh, which was about aliens you know uh, the fake aliens and I said these things will happen soon and it is already here 
and it hasn't been long since that video was published going a little bit away from this country uh, you can see what's happening in EU uh, the French want Frexit and uh, along with that all these other countries uh, but there are massive 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 protests around the world and they're not even showing a piece of that you know unless it actually leaks out to the public so bad that they can't stop it and they just mention a little bit about it after midnight after most people are asleep and um, for a few seconds and then they take it down they won't keep it there uh, you can see these kind of battles, these kind of uh, so-called slinging mud at each other's faces and accusations, uh, those kind of, uh, well, you can call it accusations, whether it's true or not. Like I said, I'm not here to analyze the news for you, but we've never had this uh, level of exposure. Now, I don't believe that this uh, dark day is going to happen. I think that dark day has already happened. Um, I believe that uh, in my spirit. It's not my my understanding. It actually is my spirit telling me that has already happened. And like I said, I'm not following any kind of theory or ideology. It's my own. Um, is the spirit within me telling me that it's already happened, it's already taken place. And the, the reason they're keeping it is for political gain, uh, for a few things, and they, uh, they have their own puzzles and conundrums. For a while, they probably didn't know what to do with it. And they have this puzzle, who to take uh, her place, and also for her to uh, mark the 70th anniversary of her reign and uh, and I bet you the the day that they will announce it publicly uh, it will be a monumental day a day that is already probably significant day in her life or in her reign and so they, they want one way or the other they want to probably uh, that way glorify her and just say that she was so special uh, I know lots of people uh, love her and her family uh, but people are you know lots of people majority of people are like that they like celebrities they love them and they they consider them as celebrities but they uh, I tell you if if you think that uh, she's only a decoration you need to open your eyes she's never been a decoration uh, she's in charge of um, almost everything and in, in, in not only here in the world's affairs and uh, you just need to look into the, the laws of even just in this country if you live in this country just live uh, look into that and you'll see uh, she's the one who has the power uh, to appoint the lords, to appoint to appoint the archbishop, to declare war, and, and yes, they'll say she'll never use those things, but she is, she does. Uh, without the lords, um, it's the lords that <laughs> basically lord over any laws any bills they can and they have the power and they do that uh, in, in the parliament uh, in the house of the lords uh, anything in the house of common is agreed or voted for it goes to the house of the lord and they decide whether it should go ahead or not uh, they can overturn it they can you know change it they can do whatever they want and they're not appointed by people and that's just only the beginning that's just the, that's just the tip of an iceberg as to how much power uh, this this person or 
uh, her position has. If you think mm, this person is just a decoration, you, you are fooled. You need to open your eyes and ask for more insight from the Lord. And as for uh, replacement, I know uh, that they want the public to believe that uh, she is appointing uh, this person or she has uh, appointed him to be uh, her replacement and his wife uh, to be the uh, queen. Uh, but as you can see, the battle is going on and as they are using these things, these news channels to take polls and see uh, you know what people are feeling what their what the sentiment is amongst the people uh, and I can tell you I, not that I'm one of them but I, I can tell you uh, they don't want uh, as much as they say they want him and her to be uh, the replacement but I believe they want these to be the replacement because they believe with their own uh, right or wrong estimates and figures and polls that they have they believe they are more fond of by the people and and, and I tell you right off here I'm not fond of any of them I'm just telling you what I believe in my spirit and what God is telling me so what's being portrayed on the news is not what the reality is behind the scenes so I would like to now uh, close this and uh, join in the spirit and join our hearts again and pray let's pray now uh, Heavenly Father we come before your throne and we ask you earnestly that you may bring down the evil in highly places all around the world those who are in charge of their uh, own countries those who are in charge of the the affairs of the world uh, if they're evil and they have evil intentions in their hearts oh lord bring them down tear them down tear their plans down let them let all their evil plans be exposed by their own insiders by uh, people of their own rankings by their counterparts uh, from other countries by their um, colleagues and their partners in the same place at the same level or even higher places let them be exposed even by people lower than them in lower ranking places let the godly come up to the power and let the evil with the evil plans be brought down and let the justice take place in the world let people's freedoms be given back to them in all areas in all areas let the evil be exposed in Jesus name Heavenly Father wash every every person who is viewing this video and all their belongings and their house and their whole household by the blood of Jesus Christ cover us with the blood of Jesus Christ protect us from all evil and give us sanctuary in your son in your hand and keep us safe spiritually physically and financially heal those who need healing right now in Jesus name and be with those who are mourning for the loss of any of their family members strengthen them strengthen the believers to keep praying in and out of season and so that your people will be safe and secure and rise up and the evil will be brought down and justice will be done 
your justice. Thank you, O oh Lord, that you are hearing my words. Thank you, O oh Lord, that you are hearing our words, our prayers, and thank you that we can see clearly in front of our eyes the history is unfolding. Historical moments are unfolding and our prayers are showing results almost immediately. Thank you. Let us see more of this. And let those in highly places who still have a chance to repent, let them repent. Particularly the ones I mentioned in my other video. You know the hearts, you know the names, you know the people. Bring them to the point of receiving salvation and repentance. And if you have hardened their hearts, O oh Lord, let their evil plans and evil agendas be thwarted and destroyed completely in Jesus' name. Let them never achieve what they've set out to achieve. Let even the rulings that have already rolled out, for instance, the uh, highway uh, code that have been rolled out, and I mentioned it in my last video as per their climate agenda let even that be axed in jesus name amen and amen and amen be encouraged keep up the good fight and keep going till you complete the race don't listen to the devil don't listen to Satan is telling you your prayers are not getting anywhere. I can see my videos are not getting as far as I want them to get to, but I know the devil is at work. And I want to ask you um, to do more than what you think you can, because you, we can always do more than what we believe or we think we can, because we don't want to be again the victim of the silent majority. I have seen this in my life many times that we have suffered, people like me, people like you have suffered the consequences of the silent majority. Not that we haven't been part of it, we have been. I'm not claiming that I've not had any share in being part of the silent majority. I have been and I'm sure if you're honest most of you have been too. Uh, you should not be part of the silent majority because silent majority is um, a complice uh, with the with the evil. If you're not fighting against them, you are supporting them. You're helping them. You're with them. Be with the Lord and God bless you. I'll see you again with another video. God bless. Goodbye.